Bud Light spending millions of dollars on Super Bowl ads this year in an, in an attempt to repair its image after the Dylan Mulvaney fiasco, with big stars like Peyton Manning and Post Malone on board with the big rebrand. Are you? The Bud Light genie? I wish Peyton Manning was my best friend. Uh -huh. How are we doing? Hey. All right. Well, Donald Trump also jumping in to help the cause, posting on Truth Social, quote, Anheuser-Busch is a great American brand that perhaps deserves a second chance. Joining us now to react, host of the Tommy Lahren is Fearless on Outkick, Tommy Lahren herself. Tommy, good to see you. You are the Fox News resident, Fox Business resident, culture, beer, and football analyst, so we appreciate you being <laughs> here on this. Will this rebrand work with conservatives who have boycotted Bud Light? Listen, I don't think it will, and I'll tell you why. It's because it signals defeat. Now, tanking Bud Light because of this Dylan Mulvaney ad that really struck to the core of conservative and traditional values, us standing up for that conservatives making a stand was really one of the strongest, most direct messages that conservatives have ever been able to send to companies, to corporate America, to culture. It was the one time in my memory where we actually stood up and we made an impact. Now, that's not great when you're talking about tanking sales. I understand the implications of that. I understand the workers and the people that had no part in this whose lives were impacted and I feel for them but this company also did nothing to really apologize to mm -hmm. its base yes they've come out with Peyton Manning commercials they've come out with their Clydesdales and tried to have this real country Americana revamp to it but they never actually came out and said we made a mistake and we apologize they never acknowledged that what they did was so harmful to their base and our ideology and our traditional values and yeah. struck to the core of what we believe in they never did that so I think it's nice that Donald Trump says give him a second chance, but I think that we need to stand our ground because if we don't, everything that we've done to send this message will be for nothing. I always say a little sorry goes a long way. Yes. They could have just said sorry. But, Tommy, can we dig in the Trump piece of it a little bit? He is asking with a question mark. It wasn't necessarily a statement to me. But what do you think he's trying to do here when he says, should we give him a second chance? Listen, I don't know if he has potentially some other interests in Anheuser-Busch or if he knows somebody there and he's trying to do something for the company, which I understand and I can respect. You know, he is able to do that. He's able to advocate for that. I understand that he wants forgiveness. He wants this brand to rebound. And, and I agree, they can be forgiven. But as I said before, it has to be an acknowledgement of this Dylan Mulvaney March Madness endorsement, the face on the can, what that means as far as targeting young people with this kind of trans ideology what it means for women's sports that are being really hijacked by the trans movement. So Budweiser and Bud Light, they need to understand why they upset us. I don't think Donald Trump, although I think his heart's in the right place, I don't think that that's going to be enough for a lot of conservatives who are really, really upset and for good reason. Well, to that point, Tommy, if you recall back, Donald Trump um, was a big pusher of the vaccines. Uh, Operation Warp Speed, I developed the vaccines, everyone should take it. And conservatives in large numbers were like, we're concerned uh, this, is, uh, this may not be safe, it may not work. It didn't work with vaccines, it may not work here, to your point, because they don't, I think the, the consumer who's boycotted doesn't believe that, um, that Bud Light has seen the ill of their ways, that they still have the same philosophy, but they still want our dollars as conservatives. That's true. And beyond that, I think it's almost a little bit insulting that Bud Light's trying to come out with these super Americana commercials. It feels almost like they're not acknowledging it, but they're duping us into thinking that right. perhaps we have forgotten what they did without actually coming out and acknowledging it. So for me, Post Malone, Peyton Manning, all great, not enough, and kind of a slap in the face. All right, let's get to this. Actress Gina Carano, with the help of Elon Musk, is now suing Disney and Lucasfilm for wrongful termination and discrimination. She told Fox News is just Jesse Waters, she was fired from her role in The Mandalorian for expressing her conservative political views. What I've learned is that if this can happen to me, this can happen to anyone. But, you know, eventually you have a line and, you know, when that line gets crossed, you just have to say enough. Enough is enough. So, Tommy, if it could happen to her, it really can happen to anybody. She's got a point there. 
She does. And the fact that Elon Musk is also taking her side on this, I mean, that's huge. He's one of the most influential people in the world. And the fact that he has her back really says something. But I'll also say this. It's not just that she lost her part because of some of her tweets and some of her expressions on social media. It's the unequal application of that, because we all know that leftists are able to post whatever they want on social media. It doesn't matter who it offends. But then you've got somebody that has a more conservative take, and all of a sudden they are canceled. They lose their job. They essentially lose their career. So if you want to say that employers can get rid of people based on their viewpoints and what they post, then it has to be equal application. So that's what she's really fighting for here. This is also similar to the stance on Bud Light. It's conservatives standing together, conservatives or even independent-minded people saying we don't like this status quo, this uneven application, and we're going to make our voices known and heard. And, you know, with so many of our Republican leaders selling us out in, in House and Congress and Senate, uh, I think it's good that we have maybe some conservatives and pop culture taking a stand. It's nice to see. It's refreshing. And I guess if they have to do it, so be it. May, think, may make businesses think twice if they know they're going to get sued for firing one of their Definitely employees because makes their them think political twice. views. Yes, for sure. Tommy, thank you so much. Sorry. Great to see you. And, of course, you can catch Tommy Laren as Fearless Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on OutKick. Mm.